Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, we have Aurel Sun, Suicide Social. All right, I can already see where this is going just by the title. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I think it's going to be a very, it's going to be more deeper song, right? I like the video. Uh, thank you, Mendes. I'll subscribe to you. I'll subscribe to anybody. It really doesn't matter, uh, the subscriptions. So subscribe to everybody, support them. It helps. That makes the number grow and stuff, channel grow. Yeah, man, uh, let's go. Subscribe to Aurel San, of course, the original creator of this song. Support him. Uh, we're watching this video because this is a translation and it makes life easier for me. This was a donation request by Pain Glory 0706 in the chat. Thank you very much. Third song we're checking out from Aurel San. Let's just go, man. Aujourd'hui sera le dernier jour de mon existence. La dernière fois que je ferme les yeux, mon dernier silence. J'ai longtemps cherché la solution à ces nuisances. Ça m'apparaît maintenant comme une évidence. Fini d'être une photocopie. Fini la monotonie, la lobotomie. Oh. Aujourd'hui, je mettrai ni ma chemise ni ma cravate. J'irai pas jusqu'au travail, je donnerai pas la patte. Adieu les employés de bureau et leur vie bien rangée. Si tu pouvais rater la tienne, ça les arrangerait. Ça prendrait un peu de place dans leur cerveau étriqué. Ça les conforterait dans leur médiocrité. Adieu. Les représentants grassouillés Qui boivent jamais d'eau comme s'ils voulaient pas se mouiller Les commerciaux qui sentent l'aftershave et le cassoulet Mettre la mayonnaise sur leur mallette, ils se la boufferaient Adieu, adieu les vieux comptables séniles Adieu les secrétaires débiles et leurs discussions stériles Adieu les jeunes cadres, fraîchement diplômés Qu'empileraient les cadavres pour arriver jusqu'au sommet Adieu, tous ces grands PDG Essaye d'ouvrir ton parachute doré quand tu te fais défenestrer Ils font leur peur sur des salariés désespérés Et jouent les vierges effarouchées quand ils se font séquestrer Tous ces fils de quelqu'un, ces fils d'une pute snob Qui partagent les trois quarts des richesses du globe Adieu ces petits patrons, ces pauvres embourgeoisés Qui grattent les RTT pour payer leurs vacances d'été Adieu les ouvriers, ces produits périmés C'est la loi du marché mon pote, des bons qu'à faire virer Ça t'empêchera d'engraisser ta gamine affreuse Qui se fera sauter par un pompier qui va finir coiffeuse Adieu la campagne et ses familles crasseuses Proches du port au point d'attraper la Oh my god, this, this is a, uh, I'm running it back because I was listening first. I wanted to hear um, the way it flows, the way it sounds, the production behind it. The beat, the beginning of the beat of the first verse reminds me of Linkin Park. Just the instrumental. It reminds me of like a Linkin Park type of buildup. Then it switches and it becomes this orchestrated sound it becomes this uh like classical music because of the piano and uh, uh elements that is brought into it wow this is a lot this this aurel sun man the the la pluie with stromae was a little bit more toned back lyrically and it wasn't uh exploding with all these textures in my face so it was like a break for me because i remember the first one we, we reacted to him man I was that was draining because it was so much. It was an overload of information, an overload of sounds. It's not a bad thing. It's just just a lot. This is also one of those where it's just. I mean, there's not the visuals, so there's uh, something less to look at. But it's he's definitely saying a lot. So now I'm gonna read the lyrics and try to keep up. I was keeping up with the flow. His flow is amazing. His cadence is amazing, and his rhyme patterns are very, very dope. Uh, and then the production behind is from the instrumental musically is intricate and meticulous just as this guy ça m'apparaît maintenant comme une évidence fini d'être une photocopie fini la fini d'être une photocopie i'm not, i'm done being yeah, you see the there's but it's just nice cuz in society people think they're original people think they have original thought when actually it is not your thought it's just not your opinion it's just opinions you see around you and you just agree with those and then you just make those your own but how original are we really we usually a lot of things is inspiration from others even even rap rap music all of it it's like oh no i grew up listening to this person i grew up listening to that so you got it from somewhere you know it's the same with thought man like we we all get the shift oh we got style uh fashion choice i'm super original no you're not you're influenced by everything in your environment La monotonie, 
la lobotomie. What are you saying? Being different. Je mettrai ni ma chemise ni ma cravate. J'irai pas jusqu'au travail. Oh, it's je pas society. La it's the burden of society of being like ordinary and stuck in a nine to five cycle. Okay. Dieu des employés de bureau et leur vie bien rangée. Si tu pouvais rater la tienne, ça les arrangerait. Ça prendrait un peu de place. Si arranger, ça les arrangerait. Arranger, ça les arrangerait. It's a homophone. It sounds almost identical, but it means two different things. That's why it's a dope. That's a homophone. Phonetically. Not phonetically. I don't know if it's the right word, but it, it, phone, it sounds the same. Dope. I'm going to let it play because if I'm going to be dissecting this bar for bar, we're going to be here for one hour. And I've, I got other requests to do. So I'm just going to let this play. Quand leur cerveau est triqué, ça les conforterait dans leur médiocrité. Adieu, les représentants grassouillés qui boivent jamais d'eau comme s'ils voulaient pas se mouiller. Les commerciaux qui sentent l'aftershave et le cassoulet mettent la mayonnaise sur leur mallette, ils se la boufferaient. Adieu, adieu les vieux comptables saignés. Gluttony. Adieu les secrets. He, he, I think he's referring to gluttony. They didn't eat anything because they're so hungry. They're, they're like pigs. Leurs débiles et leurs discussions stériles. Adieu les jeunes cadres. Fraîchement diplômés, compileraient les cadavres pour arriver jusqu'au sommet. Adieu, tous ces grands PDG, essaie d'ouvrir ton parachute doré quand tu te fais défenestrer. Ils font leur peur sur les salariés désespérés. Désespérés. Les voyages effarouchés quand ils se font séquestrer. Séquestrés. Tous ces fils de quelqu'un, ces fils d'une pute snob qui partagent les trois quarts des richesses du globe. Adieu ces petits patrons, ces pauvres embourgeoisés qui grattent les RTT pour payer leurs vacances d'été. Adieu les ouvriers, ces produits périmés, c'est la loi du marché. Mon pote, des bons cafés à virer, ça t'empêchera d'engraisser ta gamine affreuse qui se fera sauter par un pompier qui va finir coiffeuse. Adieu. La... Oh my god, bro, this guy's dark. Ta gamine affreuse. It'll prevent you from fattening up your awful daughter who will be screwed by a fireman and end up as a hairstylist. Rough. And this happens. But oh, shit. Oh my days, this is dark. He's speaking on a lot of topics that I agree with. Um, for example, when, you're, when you have a 9 to 5, and there's nothing wrong with having a 9 to 5, we need people in society to have a 9 to 5 because they are the backbone of society. You need the workers. You need middle class. You need everything. But your boss probably doesn't give a shit about you. Uh, you're expendable. Like you can be replaced like that. And if you don't have additional income sources, right? When you get fired, you're fucked. And this is the case for 95% of people. More, maybe. Most people in, in, in the world, if they get fired, they're screwed. Unless they find another job. So that, that, that means that these companies uh, or these bosses that employ you hold so much power over you, right? Which is just the way it is, wrong or right. This is the way it is. Uh, I agree with this. And this is also one of the reasons why I work my ass off seven days a week. I'm always productive, always doing something busy. And it's not to flex or anything. That's just to show you uh, that I had to grind my ass off to be in this position I am now. And I understand it is a privileged position. And I understand I am also very lucky, but I work for this. I don't have a boss because of this, because of exactly what he's speaking about. Because of that, that vicious cycle, that nine to five, that depressive, I'm an artist and I'm a creator. If I can't create or make art, I am dead. Right. And when I was working on nine to five, I felt dead. But you push through, you push through and you have these thoughts and they become want to end yourself. Like this is real shit he's talking about. And I can relate to what the fuck he's saying. You know what I mean? If you're stuck in a cycle where you, where you, first of all, you operate from a place of need financially, if you're providing for a family or whatever it is, and you can't escape that vicious cycle, you're fucked. Try to get out of it. Good luck. I think I, think I got out of it, you know, uh, fairly early still in life, even though I'm like late 20s now. But, you know, it's very real topic and I can, agree, I can agree and I can relate to this on a personal level. Me personally. It's a very dark song, but it's a very realistic song. It's real what he's saying. This is not some, and this is a song you won't see on the uh, radio. You won't hear on the radio because it speaks on the issues 
in life, uh, specifically the corporations and all that, but I, media is also a part of it, where they propagate all this stuff uh, on the on the the audience on the on the on the folk to get them to listen and buy and all this capitalistic shit, and that's just the way it is. And I mean, the capitalistic society works the best, I think, but it doesn't mean it's perfect, right? It still has its flaws, and it's definitely an issue that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Or they remain poor, you know what I mean. So, and this is also one of the reasons why I didn't want to uh, have a boss anymore. Why I, why I work so hard for financial freedom, because that's what's I think most important in society for a person is to be financially free. And that doesn't mean, and that's necessarily that you can never be free. There's no such thing as free. It's just a term. But you can definitely detach yourself from certain elements in society, and that is very liberating, to say the least. Bars. Qui se fera sauter par un pompier qui va finir coiffeuse Adieu, la campagne et ses familles crasseuses Proche du port au point d'attraper la fièvre rafteuse Toutes ces vieilles, ces commères qui se bouffent entre elles Ces vieux radins et leurs économies bout de chandelles Adieu cette France profonde, profondément stupide Cupide, inutile, putride C'est fini, vous êtes en retard d'un siècle Plus personne n'a besoin de vos bandes d'inceste Adieu tous ces gens prétentieux dans la... He said nobody needs your gang of inbred people You're hit Fucking shit. This is a bunch of frustration, bottled up anger coming out right now. But, I, but it's not, I don't think it's necessarily him specifically. I think he's also speaking for an audience. Qui valent mieux que toi chaque fois qu'ils te parlent Tous ces connards dans la pub, dans la finance, dans la com, dans la télé, dans la musique, musique dans la mode yep, everywhere. Ces parisiens, jamais contents, mais disant Faussement cultivés, à peine intelligents Ces réplicants qui pensent avoir le monopole du bon goût Qui regardent la province d'un œil méprisant Adieu les sudistes abrutis par leur soleil cuisant Leur seul but dans la vie c'est la troisième mi-temps Accueillant, soi-disant, ils pèsent avec le sourire Tu peux le voir à leur façon de conduire Adieu, adieu ces nouveaux fascistes qui justifient leur vie de merde par des idéaux racistes devenus néo-nazis. I understand the song now. Suicide Social. I think it's a, a ending your social career or your social self. Maybe that's what it means. Like detaching from uh, everything within society. I think that's what this means. N I could be wrong, but. Parce que t'avais aucune passion. Au lieu de jouer les SS, trouve une occupation. Instead of playing SS. Get a job. So SS is the Hitler's party. S -s 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 what did it mean? It was a faceless. What the hell was was the uh, acronym? What did it stand for? S -s 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 it was something. Ah shit. Um, SS meaning. Uh, a shoot staffel. That's what the hell it is. So this is his. Uh, um, major paramilitary organization under Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party in Nazi Germany. Schutzstaffel, World War II. That's what SS is. So that's what the hell he means. For the people didn't know. Aucune passion. Au lieu de jouer les SS, trouve une occupation. Adieu les... It's his rhyming is, is... Ah, bro, hold up. Devenu neo-nazi parce que uh, t'avais aucune passion. Aucune passion. Au lieu de jouer les SS, trouve une occupation. T'avais aucune passion. Trouve, trouve une occupation. It's, you know what I mean? Occupation. Aucune passion. It's, it's this very, very smooth uh, homophone rhyming. It's just... Yeah. I mean, the subject matter is fucked up, but it's fire rhyming. Like the rapping, he's, he's a solid, like legit, incredible rapper, bro. Au lieu de jouer les SS, trouve une occupation Adieu les piranhas dans leur banlieue Qui voient pas plus loin que le bout de leur haine Au point qu'ils se bouffent entre eux Qui deviennent agressifs une fois qu'ils sont à 12 Seul, il lèverait pas le petit doigt dans un combat de pouce Adieu les jeunes moyens, les pires de tous Ces baltrins ne supportent pas la moindre petite secousse Adieu Sensitive is what he's saying, you sensitive motherfuckers Adieu les fils de bourges qui possèdent tout mais ça pas quoi en faire Donne-leur les dents, ils t'en font un enfant Oh my god, farewell children of the upper middle class Who have everything but don't know what to do with it So fucking real, bro. Because all these rich, like rich kids or more wealthy kids, they don't know what the fuck to do with it. So they get depressed and shit. And then you got kids in, in, in third world countries suffering or they don't have anything and they're smiling.
adversity builds character, bro. And if you're born in, into wealth, you don't have no goddamn character. Adieu tous ces profs dépressifs T'as raté ta propre vie, comment tu comptes élever mes fils Adieu les grévistes et leurs CGT Qui passent moins de temps à chercher des solutions des slogans pétés Qui fouettent la défaite du survêt au visage Transforme n'importe quel Qui fouettent la défaite du survêt au visage Manif en fait au village Adieu les journalistes qui font dire ce qu'ils veulent aux images Vendraient leur propre mère pour écouler quelques tirages Adieu la ménagère devant son écran Prête à gober la merde qu'on lui jette entre les dents Qui pose pas de questions tant qu'elle consomme Qui s'étonne même plus de se faire cogner par son homme Adieu ces associations bien pensantes Ces dictateurs de la bonne conscience Bien content qu'on leur fasse du tort c'est à celui qui condamnera le plus fort Adieu lesbiennes refoulées, surexcitées Qui cherchent dans leur féminité une raison d'exister Adieu ceux qui vivent à travers leur sexualité Danser sur des chariots, c'est ça votre fierté Les bisounours c'est leur pouvoir de l'arc-en-ciel Qui voudrait me faire croire qu'être hétéro c'est à l'ancienne Wow, it would make me think that being straight is out of style So many easily offended people, I like this guy bro, I like Aurel's son Oh my god, what he's saying soon you'll have to suck off guys just to prove you're not homophobic. Pour prouver que t'es pas homophobe, faudra bientôt que tu suces des types. Adieu ma nation, tous ces incapables dans les administrations. Ces rois d'inaction, avec leurs bâtiments qui donnent envie de vomir. Qui font exprès d'ouvrir à des heures où personne peut venir. Yeah, that's fucking right. Like these uh, offices, they're always open at like the worst fucking times. Like people working. You know what I mean? Like they close on people. Like bro, people got jobs. You know, the hours are like from. Is 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 a horrid. Mais tous ces moutons pathétiques changent une fonction dans leur logiciel. Ils se mettent au chômage technique. À peu près le même QX et ça te flique. Qui savent pas construire une phrase en dehors de leur salle réplique. Adieu les politiques. En parler serait perdre mon temps. Tout le système est complètement incompétent. Adieu les sectes. Adieu les religieux. Ceux qui voudraient m'imposer des règles pour que je vive mieux. Adieu les poivreaux qui rentrent jamais chez eux. Qui préfèrent se faire enculer par la française des jeux. Adieu les banquiers véreux. Le monde leur appartient. Adieu tous les pigeons qui leur mangent dans la main. Je comprends que j'ai rien à faire ici quand je branche la 1. Adieu la France de choses et finances gardien. Adieu les hippies, leur naïveté qui changera rien. Adieu les SM libertins et tous ces gens malsains. Adieu ces pseudo-artistes engagés. Plein de banalités, des madocs dans la trachée. Écouter des chanteurs faire la morale, ça me fait chier. Et c'est d'écrire des bonnes paroles avant de la prêcher. Adieu les petits mongols qui savent écrire comme un prégé. Adieu les sans-papiers, les clochards, tous ces tas de déchets. Je les hais, les sportifs, les hooligans dans les stades, les citadins, les bouseux dans les restables. Les marginaux, les gens respectables, les chômeurs, les emplois stables, les génies, les gens passables. De la plus grande crapule à la médaille du mérite, de la première dame au dernier trace du pays. Holy fucking shit, bro. Oh la la, he just spoke on so many issues. Guys, he just spoke on so many issues. I don't even know where to start. He spoke on so many issues within society. Ooh, from being super offended by everything, how uh, sensitive everything has gotten. But who the fuck is blowing up my phone, bro? I keep getting messages. Like, like a shit ton. Stop, man. I'm trying to work. But for real. The, oh, this guy always provides, provides uh, a ton of inf You could make a podcast about this song. You can make a podcast about this one song and, and still not say enough because that's how much subject matter he's covering. Um, maybe it's too hard for the morning. No, it's not too hard for the morning, bro. I work, I work the best in the mornings. Uh, it's just, it's, it is a lot to take in. It is a lot, a lot to take in, but that's not bad. This is one of those songs he made to vent and it is... I think it's from the perspective of himself, but also from the perspective of the people that are fed up with all this bullshit going on, which includes me. So I like where, where he's going with this. I agree with a lot of things he said here. Very interesting perspective. And lyrically, you know, 
um, you know, it, the instrumental wise, structure wise, it was just, it was a nice build up, and then it just kept doing the da -da 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 piano towards the end, and it was a repeating sample, which is fine because it wasn't necessarily about the instrumental. It was about the words being said, the message he was trying to convey, and it was a lot in that. And it is a suicide social, social suicide. Man, I can't wait for this video to get uh, age restricted and demonetized on YouTube, bro. Nah, but for real, go support Aurel's son. This was fire.